iconic images of Kitchener Waterloo. It's an exhibition of familiar architecture, both vintage and contemporary, presented by Brantford photo artist Jack Jackowitz. As a young boy, I spent a lot of time in Kitchener Waterloo. My maternal grandparents lived here. Um, so there's a lot of memories that I have of uh, Kitchener Waterloo. And so what I was trying to do is just recapture some of those memories and, and uh, share them with the folks here. It's the architecture that tends to that interests me in the and the the old uh, the older buildings uh, uh, more specifically because those are the buildings that we tend to interact with uh, as uh, as we move throughout the city and as we grow up and a lot of them are threatened and so what I'm trying to do is capture some of those before they fall to the wrecking ball and we don't have them any longer. The interesting thing about the Button Factory is when you see it on Regina Street, it's quite a narrow building. But people just don't realize how long it is. I mean, it's, it's a really, really long building, and that's what I try to do in this shot. This is not how you, you normally see the, uh, the Button Factory. So what I try to do is I try to find that angle or the side that isn't, isn't common. And people go, wow, I never knew it was that long. Yes, well, same with that one too. The significance of the corner store is I used to go there on my way home from Victoria Park when I was with, there with, with my grandparents. And that's where I get my treat, my ice cream. So that had very pleasant memories for me. And it was, always, it was distinctive as well, because although the building itself is rectangular, it had that odd roof line where the, where the roof line wasn't uh, rectangular. I put that picture in the show and previous shows for myself, and it, I was just amazed at how many people recognize that building and know exactly where it is. And what I've tried to do on these three shots here is instead of putting my prints on paper, we've done them on a transparency and we put them on aluminum and brass so that the texture of the metal shows through. Just it changes what the, what the image looks like. So it's some experimentation. The one in the middle here is the, uh, is the uh, Seagram's Loft. And what I liked about it is it just looking straight up at it. It's just not an angle that, that most of us, we don't get close enough to that building. We see it from a distance. And as I shot it and I stood up, I thought, wow, this is, this is, this is really neat with all the windows opened and that. And it really looks like, it's, it's like it goes on, uh, goes on forever. And the Perimeter Institute, I'd never, I hadn't seen it before. I'd heard about it, but I hadn't seen it and I came across it. And I don't do a lot of modern architecture, but that one really caught my eye. So the, the, uh, the, the architects, I, to me, did a fabulous job and had a, designed a really, really interesting building. We're looking at the Waterloo Theatre. Uh, what's significant about it, it's been around for quite some time. Uh, I remember going to the theatre there when I went to university here. Um, and, and what I like about it, it's called the Waterloo Theatre. So, I mean, what better, what more fitting than a theatre called Waterloo and Waterloo? And I, I came across this in my accident, but this is the Herb House, and so this is the founder of Waterloo. Um, and I was amazed that you know, the house started, uh, they started to build it in, in 1918, which was the center portion. And then you can see on the two sides, there's been additions made, and then even the uh, veranda on top has been added, but it's still here. Uh, it now serves as a law office, but uh, you know, how special to have the founder of Waterloo's uh, uh, house still, uh, still in existence, is still being used today. So you can use heritage buildings. Jack Jackowitz in the gallery at Princess Twin Cinemas throughout February.